Learning is supposed to be fun. That's why your math teachers use games when teaching basic arithmetic operations. Nowadays, we have special apps and platforms to polish our skills while playing. Code Wars is great for learning programming. Or is it? Watch till the end to find out. You're on the Jelvix channel. Tech in five minutes. We post weekly, so subscribe not to miss new videos. Okay, let's get straight to the point and explain what Code Wars exactly is. Simply put, it's an online platform that provides coding challenges to let you practice your skills. Each programming task is in reference to a Japanese martial art called kata. They include a short task description, input data set, and desired output data. The student is tasked with writing a function in their chosen programming language to transform the given input into the desired output. This is all done with the online, built-in programming editor. Sounds great, doesn't it? The next question is how exactly Code Wars works. Code Wars is a community-built platform, meaning its users design its challenges. The challenges are ranked from 8 to 1 and get increasingly difficult the lower the kata number is. As users complete kata, they rank up their profile. All right, so now that you have a basic understanding of the platform, let's talk about its benefits. The first reason why we at Jelvix highly recommend Code Wars is the solution comparison. You can compare and analyze other users' solutions after you solve or fail a kata. The second one is easy, already set up environment. It's as simple as signing in and starting to code. Coding is done within the browser, and every challenge has a test code pre-written to check the quality of your solutions. Another significant aspect of Code Wars is that they support many programming languages. And as we already mentioned, it supports 29 core languages and 26 additional beta languages. And you're probably wondering if Code Wars will help you become a better developer. In short, yes. It allows you to exercise your problem-solving skills in a fun and engaging way, which should be what it's all about. By the way, if you want to know about the Scrum software tools we use at Jelvix, check out the article we've prepared. The link is in the description. Okay, now let's move on to the katas. Code Wars offer users a wide variety of them. For instance, you can learn better algorithms with the tasks like this, or train your JavaScript skills. So let's figure out if Code Wars suits you or not. Are you a software developer taking online courses, attending coding boot camps, or other training programs to supplement your learning and put your skills to the test? If yes, then this place is a great option for you to practice your skills. Our developers at Jelvix use it a lot. And you may be wondering if such a great platform has any drawbacks. Yes, like any product. Let's briefly overview them. The first disadvantage is focusing on algorithms. Is it bad? Well, yeah, as the algorithms are far from the only thing to know to become a great developer. If you're looking to work with a company, Algorithms may be the key to passing the coding interview, but the employer will still want to know that you can see software to completion, from start to finish. Have you noticed this particularity while using the platform? Drop the comment. The second thing is the complex code promotion. It seems like users promote their complicated way of writing code that usually isn't promoted in a work environment. What most professionals should believe is that code must be simple to read. And the last one is that it's not a very beginner-friendly platform. As for a newbie in development, the tasks may seem too challenging, so you'd probably want to choose an easier option. Mastering a certain skill requires not just training, but also continued practice. Code Wars reinforces this through a problem-based approach designed to fuel problem-solving, critical thinking, and collaboration skills among software developers, no matter their expertise level. So what do you think about such platforms? Are they good options for the newbie developers or not? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video.
Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.